I'm with Rabbi Tuli Weiss, from the, the founder and director of Israel 365. Now, Rabbi Tuli, what is Israel 365? Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> Israel 365 is a, uh, it's basically a website where we teach Christians all about Israel, uh, the biblical significance of Israel. And at this point, we have a number of different platforms. We have a news website under our umbrella called Breaking Israel News. And we have a Bible website called theisraelbible.com, which uh, are all geared for pro-Israel, evangelical, Christian, Zionist folks all over the world. And we help them connect with Israel on a daily basis 365 every day of the year when did you start it and why did you start it so I started Israel 365 right after making Aliyah right after my family moved to Israel six years ago we started on January 1st because there's a verse in Deuteronomy that says that Israel is a special place Israel is the land that God's eyes are on from the beginning of the year until the end of the year so we started on January 1st and the idea is to focus people's eyes also on the land every day from the beginning of the year until the end can you see the Bible come alive through the stories that you put in that's what we do every day we're on the ground here and we are looking for uh, evidence of the fulfillment of biblical prophecy and we see it we're seeing it every day I mean the fact that you have Jews and Christians studying the Bible together in the Knesset the seat of power so to speak for the uh, Jerusalem for Israel for the world is uh, the fulfillment of the Bible and the Bible is coming true you know it says in Isaiah that at the end of days all of the nations of the world are going to flow to Jerusalem and they're going to come and they're going to say teach us the Bible teach us the Torah from Zion shall come forth the Torah shall come forth the instruction and uh, that is just one example of um, how we're seeing the Bible being fulfilled every day. Now we live in an age of fake news. Social media has made everybody a reporter. Uh, how important is this website at getting accurate news out? We found by talking to uh, our friends and our readers all over the world that they just do not have access to accurate news when it comes to Israel. It's, uh, you know, they're watching the mainstream media and these outlets are very hostile towards Israel. And so they're seeing a skewed view or they're making Israel look like a war-torn, you know, just battlefield, when in reality it is a beautiful, vibrant place where the uh, Jewish people are returning from the four corners of the earth, just as it says throughout the Bible, and uh, there's miracle after miracle happening place on a daily basis in the streets of Jerusalem. Uh, what sort of stories do you follow? We follow all aspects of news of, from a biblical perspective. So we're very honed in on security issues, on, on the threats facing Israel from the hostile neighbors. Um, we're focused on the developments on the Temple Mount, the place where we believe that the third temple will be built. And right now, Jews aren't even allowed to go and pray there. And so we're focused on the Temple Mount. We are focused on agriculture, the agricultural revolution that's happening throughout Israel. We are focused on all kinds of stories of human interest stories, people who are doing impressive things and miraculous things, prophetic things, um, people who are, uh, were focused on Aliyah, the story of the Jewish people returning to the land. Uh, it's a great, Breaking Israel News is a very, very, very interesting, fascinating, and prophetic news website. Now you're a rabbi and you're Jewish. How important is this for the Christian community? Well, from, you know, from the Jewish community, we've always been focused on the land of Israel. We've been praying for the return to Israel since we've been exiled from here 2,000 years ago. And uh, Christianity has a much more complex uh, relationship to the Holy Land. It Christ I mean, it's, it's, it's a long story. It's fascinating. Um, but now Christians are shedding the history of Christian anti-Semitism and are looking to support the return of the people of Israel to the land of Israel. Millions and millions of Christians are standing with Israel for the very first time in our history, and it is one of the most exciting promises and uh, one of the most exciting things that are happening today. Do you feel this is a very special bond between Christians and Jews? 
it's something that I'm, you know, I'm dedicated to improving the relationship between Christians and Jews. We're in a golden era of Jewish Christian relationships that is uh, nothing short of miraculous. My grandparents were Holocaust survivors. And um, so when they hear the word Christian, they kind of respond. They have a visceral negative response. Many Jews have that. Many Jews respond negatively to Christianity because of our long history uh, and uh, of, of persecution. But things have changed. The state of Israel has changed all of that. The church is now looking at Israel in a different way. Many Christians are rejecting replacement theology and saying that God did not abandon the Jewish people, something that we've been saying all along, but now Christianity is coming along and saying that maybe, in fact, God is keeping his promises with Israel. And so we are now able to finally develop meaningful relationships both between Jews and Christians, the, and we are using the Bible as our foundation. And no longer is the Bible the source of division, but the Bible is the source of unity between Jews and Christians. Mm-hmm. It's unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Now, is it important for people to understand Israel from a biblical perspective? Well, absolutely, because many people are looking to understand Israel from a political perspective, from a geopolitical perspective, or a perspective that is very much temporal. It's very much based on who's reporting it, what's happening in the news today, and it changes on such a on a dime. Things change here so quickly. And so when you look at the world from a biblical perspective, you have an understanding that all of the events that you're seeing – God is controlling from the beginning until the end. And it allows a person to have a sense of hope. You know, a lot of people look at our website or say, oh, you're reporting on the news from a biblical perspective. That's, you know, that's crazy stuff. Or that must, that's, you know, that's sensational or um, apocalyptic. And, you know, that you're talking about the Messiah's coming and people are going to die. And it's apocalyptic and it's negative and it's, it's not at all that. When you look at the world from a biblical perspective, you're able to understand that there is a plan, that God has a plan, and you're able to appreciate and see a sense of hope in the current events. And it's really wonderful and it's really beautiful. Now, today we're in the Knesset, and you're sponsoring the event here. There's a Bible study going to take place here in the Knesset. Tell us a little bit more about that. So uh, we are part of it, but this is called the uh, Schindler Society for Bible Study. That was um, originally started by Pastor Jim and Rosemary Garlow from California. They are very special people who just want legislatures to look into the Bible as they make their important decisions. They introduced Bible study for the first time to the United Nations. They introduced Bible study to the Congress, and uh, they had it in their heart to bring Bible study to the Knesset. And so they sponsored it. The Schindler Society sponsored this event, and uh, Rabbi Yehuda Glick from the Knesset is the host. And there's going to be a number of members of Knesset here who are here to study the Bible. And the Christians that are here are here to learn about the Bible from a Jewish perspective, from rabbis, from teachers. And um, so it's, you know, again, it's one of these miracles that after being exiled for so long, the Jewish people are coming back to the land. And they're here in the Knesset where they make laws that affect every aspect of Israeli life. And there's taking time out of their busy schedules to study the Bible and to study Isaiah and to study the Psalms together between Jews and Christians. Unbelievable. Is there many Bible studies here in the Knesset, like a weekly event? So they do have other Bible studies for sure. It's Jewish, Jews, you know, studying the Bible together, something Jewish people have always done. And uh, what's unique about this, though, is that it's Jews teaching Christians that, you know, number one, it's sponsored by a Christian group. The Schindler Society is a Christian group. And the Christians are saying to the Jewish people, we want you to teach us the Torah. We want you to teach us the Bible, just like it says in Isaiah 2. Well, amazing. It is amazing. Now, Donald Trump has just recognized Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Do you see God in that? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, the, God always works through people, and it, he especially works through leaders. 
And Donald Trump has the, been the first president to recognize the American law of rec- that Jerusalem is Israel's capital. And it's not a small thing. You know, in the 50th year, the Jubilee anniversary of Jerusalem, 50 years after the Jewish army captured it from the Jordanians, finally the world is recognizing it, starting with the United States, Other countries are hopefully going to jump on that bandwagon as well and recognize that the Jerusalem belongs to the Jewish people. Now, we're coming up to 70 years of Israel as a nation. Is this a miracle? Everything about Israel is a miracle. You can't understand it in the natural. You can't you can't explain the hostility that Israel is confronted with and the amount of resources that we have to spend on defense. And uh, you can't explain the ingathering of the Jewish people without relying on, you know, going back to the miracles that were promised by the Bible. It's the only way that we, the Jewish people, can relate to Israel. And many Christians are also seeing the same thing that that we are and that we've been praying for for so long. So we're just fortunate to be alive in this great generation and uh, where Jews and Christians are finally starting to work together again. What's your prayer finally for Israel 365 for its future? Well, right now, Israel 365 uh, has grown to a place where we have 300,000 daily email subscribers who are on our list, and that's a wonderful thing. We just want other people to uh, hear about it and connect with Israel through Israel 365 to connect with the land, just like God's connected on a daily basis from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. And uh, we're looking to touch more minds and hearts and show the true biblical perspective on the land of Israel. And what's your website for people who'd like to know more? So you could visit Israel365.com or BreakingIsraelNews.com or the IsraelBible.com. Okay, Rabbi Tuli, thank you very much. Thank you very much.